Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic message to start your day. And today's message is titled, You Will Walk in Divine Authority. The Bible tells me, according to Psalm 34, verse 19, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Hallelujah. Precious saints, even though I have warned you for us to buckle up for what is about to take place in 2022, and even as we are preparing for the imminent coming of the Lord, and as we're seeing the spirit of the Antichrist continue to set the stage and culture for the arrival of the man of sin, it is time for us to stand firm, precious saints. And this message is to encourage you today. Imagine this, the same adversity that causes some to break down also causes men of faith in the Bible to break records, precious saints. Think about that today. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Therefore, today, refuse to see any handicap in your life as an excuse around your life within this new year of 2022. You can turn every weakness, every setback, every handicap around in your life into a raising stone or a raising elevator. But you have to put your faith in God, precious saints, and you need to put that faith into action now. It is not what has happened to you, but rather what happens within inside of you that makes the difference, precious saints. Be determined to overcome and never give up or compromise so that there shall be evidence that your God lives. Hallelujah. As from today, as you'll see from day six's teaching within the fasting program of the seven-day crossover fast, we've got to learn to keep the devil under our feet. It is vital for us to know who we are in Christ and that everything has been placed under our feet, precious saints. That's right, because according to Ephesians 1.22, everything has been placed under Jesus' feet. So that would include the devil, precious saints. So since we are part of the body of Christ, all things are under our feet as well. It doesn't matter what type of problem that might come against you in 2022, whether it be a physical problem, emotional problem, financial problem, family problem, and so forth. We can all walk on top of every one of these situations. That's right, because according to Psalm 91 verse 13, thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder. So this verse, it uses lions and adders in the King James to represent forces that are strong and fierce. So it is literally talking about Satan and his demonic hosts. If we're trembling, and treading on something, it means we're walking on it. In this case, we are supposed to walk on demons. That's right, you've been given all authority. The word Adder in Psalm 91 verse 13 is also translated in other versions as serpent or cobra. So looking further at this word, we see that it carries with it the thought of a nest of snakes. Spiritually speaking, this is referring to many different types of demons. So no matter how many demons we may encounter in 2022 or that we might be uh, fighting against, we all have the authority to tread upon each one of them, precious saints. So walk in the finished work of the cross today and exercise that God-given authority as believers in 
Christ Jesus. Jesus has done it all on the cross and it is time for you to walk in the God-given authority that God has given to you. You need to walk in that divine plan that God has for you as we wait for him, as he tarries. May you walk in authority and walk in faith today in Jesus' mighty name. Let me speak a confession of overcoming and walking in this divine authority today. This year, Lord, we shall not bow down We shall not compromise or be coerced into any trap or lie of the enemy. We will walk in integrity, honor and compassion, love, righteousness and discipline. We will not fear man, but God alone. We will live and not die and we will declare the good works of the Lord. God has given us not a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, love and of a sound mind. Therefore, Whom shall we fear? We shall fear no one because God has not given us that spirit of fear. But we shall walk in grace, power, love, and a thought pattern of a sound mind. Therefore, we will not be double-minded in our decision makings, but stand firm upon God's word that does not return to him void, but shall accomplish everything perfectly according to his will. We declare that each one that is listening will also have calm and a well-balanced mind with discipline and self-control. Fear cannot torment us because we choose to walk by faith and not by sight. That's right. Not one person listening shall walk into a hospital, shall need a doctor in this new year because we will walk in that divine authority in Jesus' mighty name. No weapon formed against us shall prosper moving forward. Father, your word says you sent your word and healed them and delivered them from destruction. Therefore, we believe that we are healed and delivered from sickness and disease. We shall walk in divine health, for sickness and disease have no place within our body. We shall walk in the finished work of the cross, and Satan and all of his minions shall stay under our feet. Within this new season, we shall see and hear the Lord clearly. Yes, we shall hear hear and, and, and see clearly what the Lord is showing and revealing to the remnant bride of Christ to help us prepare for his coming. We shall walk with increased signs and wonders in that authority, increased prophetic utterances, increased revelation. Yes, even when the enemy tries to attack us, us to stop us from moving forward. We shall tread upon the enemy. When the enemy comes in one direction, he shall flee in seven directions. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the Holy Spirit will raise the level of deliverance over our lives. For God wants us to rule and reign within our lives. The enemy will return back what is rightfully ours and return back sevenfold what has been stolen from us precious saints for we are victorious we are healthy we are prosperous and we will walk in the high uh, calling of God today and forevermore when God told Joshua every place that the sole of his feet shall tread upon that that place was given unto him And all Joshua had to do was claim it. And also, we also have to claim it and take what is rightfully ours through Christ Jesus. For we know that unless we step out in faith, it will never become a reality. Therefore, we step out in faith today. We shall walk even into the enemy's camp and claim back what he has stolen from us, just as David and his men claim back all that was stolen, we shall prevail. For our healing is already provided for us through Christ Jesus. He has already provided deliverance for us through Jesus. And God is waiting for us to take what Jesus brought for us. Therefore, 
from today. We tread upon every giant. We tread upon every strong man. We tread upon every wicked spirit. We tread upon every evil, foul spirit. We tread upon oppression, addiction, sickness, disease, and poverty, so nothing ever remains again. We claim what is rightfully ours today and put the devil on the run by using our God-given authority. We shall stand firm in our faith and thanking God for what he has wrought for us on the cross. We will resist the devil each day and he shall flee from us. Our mind shall always be alert. Our body is always strong and we live an overcoming life each and every day. Any germ or disease that touches our body shall die immediately because we are covered and we are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ that still has power today. Father, we also give you praise and we thank you that you sent your son Jesus who has already bore our sicknesses and our infirmities in his own body on a tree and by his stripes we are healed and we thank you, Father, that no plague shall come near our dwelling. And though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we shall fear no evil, for your rod and your staff are there to comfort us. Therefore, even from today, no sickness or disease shall overtake us or lay hold of our households. We shall walk in total health and wholeness, and by the stripes of Jesus, we are healed and made whole today. Hallelujah. We shall walk and divine provision as our God shall provide and continue to provide for our needs according to Christ Jesus. We shall be the head and not the tail. We shall be above and not beneath. We shall be what we are according to God's word for we shall be blessed when we come in and we shall be blessed when we go out. We are victorious and we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. We shall overcome and all things work for good for those who love Jesus and also work according to his perfect will. Yes, we shall overcome and be ready for the Lord's return that he may say to each of us, good and faithful servants in you I am well pleased. We shall walk in the light and not darkness any longer and our eyes shall not look upon any wicked thing. And we are the heirs of Christ Jesus who sits in heavenly places. And we, even though the times that we are weak, Jesus shall be our strength and make a way of escape from every temptation and every trial, for he is our deliverer, and we are his children. He is the truth, he is the way, he is the light, and we walk in that light, we walk in that way, and we knock and the door shall be open to us. Anything that we ask for, it shall be granted to us according to God's perfect will. We are the heirs of Christ, and today each person that is listening, that the Holy Spirit that has sealed them until the day of their redemption, baptize those that need to be baptized in fire today and in spirit. Touch each person from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Lord, I pray that you would seal this prayer and cover each home. Send your angels to surround each house as a hedge of protection, as a hedge of fire around them. You will do great things through each person that is listening today. Even as you tarry, O oh Lord, give them the strength to endure to the very end. Come and touch your people. Come and move upon your people, Holy Spirit, as you are hovering over each person. Oh Lord, come and fill them. For greater is he that lives in each of them than he that lives in the world. And they will overcome every attack and every tactic, every ploy of the enemy shall not come near their dwelling. Lord, I thank you. But only with their eyes shall they see the reward of the wicked. Come and touch your people. Come and fill them today. Come and heal them, deliver them. In Jesus' mighty name, 
We pray and believe. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this particular utterance and message today, I encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Rumble. Go to our Telegram page. That way you can get all the uncensored content to stand strong in this time, Precious Saints. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. Don't forget today is day six. That means that it is today and tomorrow left, and we have finished and completed the crossover fast as we are crossed over into this new year, and God is with you. God has anointed you. This is a time to walk in victory and divine authority. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Mm-hmm.